Before Earth was here, there was only water as far as one could see in all directions, with birds and animals swimming around in it. Up above in the clouds, there was a skyland. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all... In Skylands was a great and beautiful tree with four white roots, stretching the four sacred directions. Every kind of fruit and flower grew from its wide spreading branches. Chief of Skyland's wife was expecting a child. One night she had a powerful dream about the great tree being uprooted. Husband, Chief of Skyland's, I just had a very powerful dream about the tree being uprooted. Such a powerful dream, we must do whatever it takes to make it come true and uproot the tree. The chief of Skyland successfully uprooted the tree. My God. Oh my God, it's so pretty! <laughs> far, far below in the water, some of the animals looked up. Someone's falling from the sky, one said. We must help her, said another. Then two swans flew up and caught her between their wings and brought her gently down to the water where the birds and the animals were watching. All the animals realized that she could not stay there because she did not have webbed feet and wouldn't be able to survive. So they realized one of them had to go down and grab the earth from under the water and pull it back up. A duck went first. The duck was not successful, so a beaver went to go try. The beaver went further than the, than the duck, but it was still not successful, so a loon went to go try to see if he could reach the earth from below. The loon was not successful either. Everyone had lost hope until a small voice spoke out. A muskrat said that he would go down to try to reach the earth. I'll go get the earth. I got it. Where should I put it? You can put it on my back. They brought Muskrat over and placed her paw against his back. To this day, there are marks at the back of the turtle shell that were made by Muskrat's paw. The tiny bit of earth fell on the back of the turtle. Almost immediately, it began to grow and grow until it became the whole world. Then the two swans brought Sky Woman down. She stepped onto the new earth and opened her hand, letting the seeds fall onto the bare soil. From the seeds, the trees and grass and flowers sprang up. Life on earth had begun. Don't you 